It's episode two of On This Day, where we tell you all about interesting things that happened in our collective history, things that are part of the zeitgeist. Every day we will share with you one historical fact that will make you either cringe or blow your mind. Today we're going to talk about Peter William Sutcliffe, also known as the Yorkshire Ripper. He terrorized the north of England from 1976 to 1981. The Yorkshire Ripper murdered a total of 13 women. The Yorkshire Ripper was known to hit his victims in the head with a hammer, sexually assault, rob and mutilate the bodies of his victims and leave them covered in their own coats in the dark alleyways. Another truly disturbing fact about the Yorkshire Ripper is that he really likes to play games with the police. He sends them letters with chilling details about his future murders, which made the hunt for him more urgent and important. Throughout his whole case, the Yorkshire police has interviewed more than 250,000 people and thousands of homes. Strange is that they interviewed the Ripper nine times during this time and he managed to convince the police of his innocence. If there is a silver lining to the story is that one woman survived an attack. Her name is Marcella Claxton and she is the key to helping find the Yorkshire Ripper. She helped sketch out a Ripper's car, which led to his eventual arrest. Another key to his arrest is a vital tip-off from Trevor Birdsell, where he pointed out the Ripper's name and address and workplace. This leads us to his arrest on January 2nd, 1981. Peter Sutcliffe was stopped by police with a 24-year-old prostitute named Olivia Reavers in Light's Trade House, Broomshill, Sheffield. A police check revealed he's using a false car plate and he was arrested. Upon interrogation about the Yorkshire Ripper case, because he matched the physical qualities the police are looking for, Sutcliffe calmly admitted to being the Ripper. Sutcliffe claimed to hear voices telling him to kill prostitutes and the voices were from God. He pleaded not guilty due to a paranoid schizophrenia diagnosis. However, the majority of the jury rejected this defense and he started his sentence at HMP Parkhurst on the 22nd May, 1981. After a gruesome attack on Sutcliffe, by a fellow inmate, he was transferred to Broadmoor Hospital in March 1984. Sutcliffe spent 36 years at the psychiatric ward in Broadmoor Hospital until his death on November 30th, 2020. Due to COVID-19, he was 74 years old. Now that was a heavy story. We hope all of you crime and serial killer junkies find this episode interesting. Until then, keep your guard up and be vigilant. See you tomorrow.